My name's Duddy, it's about builds and stuff. Today's video is going to be about the Ballandos Raffle Weavers, but just look at this little cheeky little double stun there with one shot, really good. Anyways, the Ballandorf Raffle Weavers, these got buffed just before final shape. They feel really, really nice now. We're going to go over that, but just look what happens here simply by putting my roof down. I'm going to get a Frost Armor times 8 and a 17% damage increase for my Stasis weapons just by putting a roof down. We're going to be featuring some weapons that work really nicely with this little exotic these gauntlets that really did get buffed but yeah we'll be featuring some really good weapons uh, some chill clip snipers some swords and some other rocket launchers as well all based around some stasis damage and stasis damage reduction but trust me stay with me because these feel really really good now and bungie did an excellent job with them so we'll start off with the Ballandos Wrath Weavers. Hearts of Ice, your Winter's Wrath Shockwave. Deals increased shatter damage. Allies in range of your Winter's Wrath Shockwave. And your Frost Pulse. That's an aspect, by the way, so bear that one in mind. They gain Frost Armor and deal increased damage with Stasis Weapons. So I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes showing you exactly what it does. By the time you finish your Super, when you come up with Super, you've got an instant stack of times 8 Frost Armor and a times four stasis weapon boost that's 25 percent that's similar to things like fortress or mantle of battle harmony so 25 percent but the frost armor part of it is really really good because if you look at the bottom it reduces damage from pve combatants 4.5 percent per stack so eight times 4.5 is a 36 percent damage reduction whenever you come out of your super and of course if you run it with the frost pulse aspect where you put your rift down and this will generate a shockwave that freezes nearby combatants not only will you freeze them you will also instantaneously gain a 36 percent damage reduction and a times two stasis weapon boost so it's not as strong as when you finish your super but a times two 17 percent which stacks with empowering rift is really nice plus the 36 percent damage reduction glacial harvest is the other aspect i like to run with this setup this actually got buffed as well. Freezing targets create stasis shards around the frozen targets. Higher tier combatants create more shards. While Glacial Harvest is equipped, picking up stasis shards grants stacks of frost armor. And the best thing with the Ballandos Wrath Weavers is it works for your teammates as well. So my friend uh, got me asked him to send me a few clips over. There you'll see me. Dud it's there. What a G, what a gamer. This guy who was doing the clips for me kept telling me to have an awesome day. I don't know if you know him, but he was a bit odd. But he kept telling me to have an awesome day. But you'll see there, he gets a Frost Armor times 5. Which is less than the one I get because of I am running Whisper of Rhyme. Whisper of Rhyme increases the duration and maximum stat count. So you'll see there, you must have Whisper of Rhyme equipped to get the times 5. If you, uh, to times 8, sorry. If you don't, you only get the times 5. So Whisper of Rhyme will give you the times 8. And it will also work for your teammates as long as they run Whisper of Rhyme. Just some quick ideas now. I know this guy's immune, but you could put your rift down, get an instant stack of frost armor times eight, and then you also get that times two weapon boost. So you could use it with some stasis weapons, just for some DPS, uh, which I find really, really cool. And then the other thing is like something like Ill Omen with Unrelenting. It's like a sword that I covered recently on the channel. Something like in unrelenting cold steel on this ill ermine fits the build perfectly i also did a titan video yesterday with icefall mantle and the slammer you really should check that out but you can put your rift down freeze everything get an instantaneous stack of eight frost armor plus a times two stasis weapon boost 70 percent like i said it does stack with your uh empowering rift as well Whisper of Chains is a fragment you should run with this one because defeating targets while you're frost armor is a chance to create a stasis shard. And then creeping chill on the stasis artifact on the seasonal artifact perk. Stasis weapon final blows against slowed or frozen combatants release a burst of slowing energy. So you can keep going all the time and if you're running the sword you may as well run Argent Blade. While you have an armor charge dealing damage with a sword consumes an armor charge and empowers a sword for a short time. So you get the 17% plus the Argent Blade. Really, really good. And if you keep running that Whisper of Chains and all the little setup I just showed you, you, not only will you get your times 8 when you put your Rift down, you'll be able to keep constantly refreshing your Frost Armor by picking up the Shards with the Glacial Harvest, Whisper of Chains, Whisper of Rhyme, get all them going, and you're going to have a constant stack of 8 as long as you keep getting kills against Frozen Targets. You can keep stacking that times 8 all the time. Now, 
I'm going to spend like the rest of the video basically just going over some weapons that really suit this. So you've got things like stasis snipers, which you can do. Just put your rift down at the back and then just get an instant times two damage increase. And again, just to clarify, when you come up with super, it will be a times four. Not only that, you're giving your teammates at times two as well. Uh, stasis weapon boost. So it's extremely, extremely handy now. Now, there's absolutely loads of stasis weapons that'll benefit from this, but Critical Anomaly from the raid, I just absolutely love this weapon. Uh, any chill clip weapon, but this sniper's got chill clip on there. Direct hits with the top half of the magazine cause a detonation that slows nearby targets. I absolutely love this sniper with this, and I've also got Chaos Reshaped on there, which basically Frenzy 2.0. It gives you a 35% damage increase when you're a times 2 But this sniper and the Ballon d'Or's Wrath Weavers, is just really really good putting your rift down getting a times two damage increase plus your empowering rift which does stack so you get 17 percent plus the 20 percent from the empowering rift as well 37 percent damage increase and just having the extra damage on a stasis sword or a stasis sniper feels really really good and i just sort of want to spend like a minute on chill clip how good this perk is now it recently got sort of buffed as well it sort of got reverted to how it was before this Chill Clip Sniper just feels like an exotic. It is so, so good. And Chill Clip in general, to be honest, just being able to instantly stun multiple champions. And again, just these, these basically now are just little ideas for you just to sort of contemplate how to fit things into builds. Put your Rift down, extra damage on your Stasis Sniper, your Stasis Rocket Launcher, or even a Stasis Exotic, something like Aegis could be really good. But there's some really good options for you. But I really like to run this Sniper. And again, just chill clip, just being able to stun multiple champions feels absolutely insane in my opinion. Again, extra damage. Why wouldn't you want that extra damage? I don't know, but you may as well stick your rift down and get that frost armor stack going as well. And again, overloads, stunning, no problem. Unstoppables, uh, really, really good. And then if you just look in this little clip uh, next, what happens here, I actually managed to get a double stun with this chill clip, which, don't know, feels sort of illegal but overload and the unstop both stunned at the same time absolutely crazy now if you're running a stasis primary may as well run a stasis heavy something like cold comfort where explosive light uh, envious assassin fits the build pretty nicely explosive light will again will stack with the times two stasis weapon surge or the times four if you come out with your super paired out with your super put your rift down get a lot extra damage get a stack of times eight frost armor just by putting your rift down it's absolutely crazy so basically just by putting your rift down, you're getting a 20, uh, sorry, a 37% damage increase on your stasis weapons, a times eight stack of frost armor, 36% damage reduction. And all we're doing is putting our rift down. To me, that just feels really, really good. And then again, just to clarify, and I'll keep banging on about it, but your teammates will get most of these benefits too. The actual super feels pretty nice. Uh, there's never really a, like a massive issue with the super. It's not like a DPS super, but it's an ad clearance super, and it does get you out the uh, dodo sometimes as well if you're in a bad situation. Being able to just freeze things consistently, and then again, look, you'll see there, I've got that frost armor times eight and a stasis weapon boost times four, and that's because I come out my super. So it's just a really, really good solid buff in my opinion. And frost armor feels really, really good. I suppose it's a little bit like what. Uh, Woven Mail, uh, in my opinion, but probably a little bit better because basically Woven Mail gives you 40%, but it only stacks for 10 seconds. You can stack this infinitely. Precision Instrument Suspectum is another one that I really like to run with this one. I actually enhanced this because I love Precision Instrument. It gives you a 30% damage increase. And this, again, these are just little pairings that you could consider to use. There's probably loads and loads of options that I've missed out, uh, but you could run one of these with this with a sniper as well just a really good all-round solid damage increase whisper of rhyme your frost armor has increased duration we've already gone over this one i consider that one that gives you your times eight whisper of chains again what we've covered defeating targets while your frost armor has a chance to create a stasis shard you've got your glacial harvest on top of that as well the other two that are really good for this one is whisper of refraction defeating slither frozen combatants gives you an absolute crap ton of class ability energy for your frost pulse and then whisper of conduction to make all your status shards track to your position but that's the video i'll leave a dim link here's a build card from my friend mr slayer got over on twitter let me know what you think of this video and any other ideas that you have for this build uh, thanks for watching have a great day